Welcome back. It is time for Shakespeare in the Park at the Old Globe Theater. Yeah, first up, the classic tragedy Othello. Lisa's sat down with some big name stars. Yeah. Yes! Oh my gosh, what an exciting day it was. I know some of you may think that Shakespeare is a total snooze fest. <laughs> I get it. But trust me, when Blair Underwood is in the lead role, it's anything but. No, Iago, I'll see before I doubt. And when I doubt, prove. And on the proof, there's no more but this. Away at once. After seeing Blair Underwood perform Othello at the Old Globe, it's hard to believe it was a role he almost turned down. The, the irony was I was literally going to Israel for a week the next day. And I said, I told my agent, I'm literally going to the Holy Land. Let me pray on it. <laughs> and I'll get back to you on that. And I kept hearing myself say to my three kids who are teenagers, you have to do the things in life that scare you because that's when you grow. And that's exactly what he needed. Blair had just come off a TV disappointment. His 2013 show Ironside was canceled after only three episodes. So for him, a shot at Shakespeare in San Diego gave this classically trained actor an opportunity to get back to his roots. You gotta be completely engaged, and when you are, it crackles, and the language just carries you. So that's that's a passion and a love that you don't, it's hard, it's hard to get uh, when you're doing camera work. Damn! Blue uh, minx. Playing one of Shakespeare's most tragic heroes requires Blair to tap into every human emotion. Emotions he says are relatable whether you lived in the 1600s when the play was written, or you live in 2014. And whether it's love, hate, jealousy, um, betrayal, amb ambition, ambition, betrayal, all of those things, we all understand that. Um, the beauty of that is to bring all those, those, those emotions to the fore and have it draped in the, the elegant and eloquent poetry that is Shakespeare. Even though that poetry can be wordy and complicated, don't think it's a stuffy show. We're butted right up against the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> Sometimes we hear seals in the, in the background. So I'm doing this, this soliloquy in the fifth act after Desdemona's dead, and, and I hear, celebrate good time. So if you can't remember back to your high school English lit class, don't worry. Blair was able to break down Othello's complicated, twisted plot in just two sentences. Two sentences? Yes. Oh, man. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> um, it is the dismantling of a Venetian general by someone he felt was trustworthy and honest. Is that one sentence? It is the ultimate tragic love story. That's right. my second sentence. <laughs> Shakespeare would be proud. Oh, great. The uh, show runs at the Old Globe through July 27th. We will put all the ticket info on KUSI.com. Now, you may recognize Kristen Connolly from House of Cards mm -hmm. in that video, as well as Richard Thomas from the TV show The, the Waltons. Walton, sure. And, you know, on and on. today you might know him from the TV show um, The Americans on FX. So I got to speak with Richard as well, cool. and that story will air next week. And I've seen the play; it was spectacular. That wasn't oh, easy to cool. do. To put it in two sentences. I know. That wasn't <laughs> easy to do. I mean, <laughs> a few minutes. That plot is no joke. <laughs> yeah. So it, he he was a great sport, and it just I can't say enough about what uh, a nice person he is. Yeah, so welcome to San Diego. Have fun here. Yeah. Great. Very All cool. Right. Thanks, Lisa. Sure. Mm -hmm.